says, what Judaism says about violence. I would ask any local rabbi here what that means, but I'm afraid that most don't speak Hebrew. So I'll translate for you. If one comes to slay you, slay him first. That's in the Talmud in Brachot. Mer Kahana didn't make that up. That's in the Talmud. That Mort's great-grandparents once studied. It was a Jew named Pinchas, Phineas, to all the uh, Baptists sitting here. And Pinchas, in a moment of zealotry, zealotry, went out and killed a Jew and non-Jew for, for, uh, for various reasons, which I'm not going to go into. And now it is, it is necessary. You can check it out in the book of uh, Numbers, chapter 24 and 25. And the rabbis say, the following, that he who sheds the blood of the wicked, one who sheds the blood of the wicked, it is as if he has brought a sacrifice to God. I didn't write that. That's in the Talmud. Now you can burn one's local, local Talmud. I don't care about that. But don't babble about Jewish values when you would know one. If you saw one, in the Bible it says in uh, Dvarim, Deuteronomy chapter 20, when you go to war against your enemies, and the rabbis asked, why is it necessary to add the words against your enemies? Obviously one doesn't go to war against his friends. And they answer, Amar HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Almighty said, Bo alehim koivim, go against them as enemies. Keshem sheinam rachamim alechem, just as they don't have mercy upon you, kach atem lo terachamu alehem, don't have mercy upon them. So much for the poor Palestinians. I didn't say this and I didn't write this. That's in the Talmud. That is Judaism. If Hillel, in its ignorance, does not like this, they can hand out leaflets against the Talmud too. But not against Mary Kahana. Either be consistent or shut your mouth. 